Former GPD officer Mark Torrig Jr. stands by his attorney as Judge Michael Berdalio details the sentencing. Here's the breakdown. Torrig gets three years for negligent homicide with all but two years suspended. That means two years for that charge. He also got six years for the special allegation of possession and use of a deadly weapon in the commission of a felony. For a total of uh, eight years at the Department of Corrections, five the six years to be consecutive. The judge giving the same sentencing for the aggravated assault conviction and special allegation attached to run concurrent. Torrey Jr. was convicted for the 2015 shooting death of Officer Burt Piolo. However, tensions were high in the courtroom prior to sentencing. Piolo's wife, Mika, is first to take the stand. Ever since that day, our family has had the light shot out. <coughs> our family was broken and grieving. No one believes that he committed suicide. That is not who he is. He loved life and was trying to put his son out there. Good vibes. He is Mr. Good Vibes. Bert's teenage son, Jaden, breaking down as he reads the text message he sent to his dad that day. Hi, Daddy. Oh, I heard about the dreams the police gave us. I asked, me, I asked myself a few questions. Are you really gone? Bird's brother, Edison, looked at Tori throughout most of his testimony. The sending single of you, Mr. Junior. You know, I hope I assure you, you know, if you've done the right thing in the first place, if you said, if you could have said it was an accident, why try to hold us only, only three years? You could have just said, hey, it's an accident. He even forgave Tori in court, but others in Bert's family called for accountability, like Bert's mother, Gerilyn. PTSD, alcohol blackout, are just your alibis. Why you have to bring your gun in the first place? Since you are the off at that time, and then going to a bar. He lost his life. I do believe in my heart, and have that feeling that you had intention to kill me. Then, Lieutenant Mark Torrey took the stand. On the morning of that tragic event, I witnessed firsthand Marky's sincere and unwavering efforts to desperately save Elbert's life. Coming to his son's defense. We truly believe then, and still today, he did nothing wrong. I offer my family's most sincere and profound condolences, which have and always will be with you. And when Torrey Jr. spoke. I'm so very sorry. <clears throat> about Bert's death. I would never intentionally, recklessly, negligently, or accidentally hurt Bert. Bert's death will haunt me for the rest of my life. Tory Jr. asked the judge for leniency. The prosecution asked for the max 28 year sentence while the defense asked for no jail time. Clearly, has no rules. The court has no better candidate for successful rehabilitation. He will rehabilitate. He already has. He will continue to rehabilitate. On top of the eight-year sentence, a $3,000 fine, he will be eligible for parole in six years. Restitution is to be addressed at a later time. Tory Jr. was ordered to report to the local prison on July 14th.